Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the next part of the Ranger rebuild. <sighs> Working the night shift. So we left off with draining the oil and getting that <laughs> oil filter off. So I couldn't find the right tool. I found one that was sort of close, but it kept slipping. And so, oh God, look at that. Look at what you just. So I ended up just screwing it to the bottom with some tech screws and it worked great. Which is fine, it's awesome. That's not awesome. But it let it drain overnight. We got to get everything out of there. See what it looks like. There, that's a little better. We got the Harbor Freight light here going on. Um, but today's video, or tonight's video, is actually going to be focusing on getting the flanges of these exhaust manifolds hooked up. And truth be told, I still actually have to tighten these. Get the flanges hooked up, tighten them, and get the front end of this thing on. I think we can do that tonight. But yep, and then we got the uh, power steering pump cleaned up well enough to where I feel like I won't catch a disease just by handling it. Yeah, and then I think the uh, AC hooks to the top of that. I want to replace this. I want to get them a whole new drive kit. I think it needs to be done because that'll spin forever. I'm going to go ahead and jack it up and just make my life a little easier. Don't want to it's the arms. You know, you start crawling under this thing and you gotta crawl in arms first because if you crawl in head first and you, know, you feel like a beached whale, you can't get your arms out in the right position. Let's try this again now that we got the manifolds tightened down. I'm gonna. Oh, hey, I found a socket. Heads up. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's so difficult. Why are you going to be so difficult? Oh, 
cover bolts there with the two nuts and then the power steering pump goes in between here with these long bolts I'm just gonna get these nuts started so this bracket still has room to move around Can't forget the water pump. The heater pipe with the new O-ring on it. And we got this funky bolt here with the big washer. And yep, there we go. This way, I'm just slide it in, slide it in. Now's as good a time as any. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Are you serious? Those valve covers aren't coming off. They sure aren't. Oh my god. Look at that. Focus. Come on, get the light in here. Valve cover's not coming off because the alternator. Hang on. Two steps forward, one step back. Well, it's almost nine o'clock. It's getting late, so we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna put this, what I have left of this marble mystery oil down here and some oil. And we're gonna crank it and see if we can get some old nasty oil flushed out of that. Now I'm looking at this too, and uh, it looks like it might make a huge mess. There's like no lip down here to catch the oil from running all over everything. So we'll see. And I've already unplugged the uh, fuel pump relay. As Soon as I get this oil in here, we'll go over to the cab and crank it. Um, you know what I almost forgot? Was the dipstick. That'd have been all bad. I gotta put that dipstick in. I think we're ready to crank it up. Let's, no, no, we have no battery. Gosh. it for me already yeah it's not gonna start but I'm just pumping all, all the old oil out and keep going until I say stop all right so that was squirting right out of that base. I'm glad I had her do that because that's not even sealing. That's squirting out of this side of the base. I'm gonna check that out in the daytime, find out why that's not sealing. But uh, I think that's gonna do it for tonight, guys. Yeah, we got oil going on to this side too. No, it's the old oil. Oh. Yeah. 
That's what happens when you mix water and oil. It looks like milkshake, but... Yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. I don't even know if this is gonna be up in the morning or if I'm gonna wait and combine like two days for you guys. So hang in there for me. I'll see ya. I'll see you later.